Alright, I got a minute. This is an ECU, but I got this package. I already know what it is and who it's from. Derek sent me the Trailblazer SS intake. Uh, we talked about the throttle body that I just got, and I said that it was missing the idle air and the TPS sensor. And looky looky, they came today. So they sent it in two separate packages. I kind of feel bad because I, I didn't say anything angry, but I just emailed them and I'm like, hey, don't I get, you know, I checked the listing. Anyway, they're like, yeah, we had to send it in two separate packages. Nipples busted off there. This is missing. I guess I just have to throw a few bolts in here. What I might do is, uh, I might go to the Parker Hydraulic store and get those push lock, thread them in, push lock them. And part of me wants to try a different map sensor also, just for fun. And I did a little bit of research on the fuel rails. This is a returnless fuel rail on this truck intake. The Trailblazer SS one. It's returnless. But what I did see is people retrofitting the Gen 3 rail, I guess you would call it, onto these so I could hook it up the same exact way for return and feed. So just a couple small things then when I go to put it on. Check out that throttle body. Mang. That is nice. And then all the bolts have been scattered around in the box. Good old shipping. Oh, what is this? He sent me the electronic throttle. Beautiful. And then he also sent a Guardians of the Galaxy raccoon action figure car Hot Wheels thing. Presumably for the little guy. And something else. <laughs> Suck it, Doug Bernard's 2017. This, uh, if you guys don't watch this guy, Doug Bernard's sound man on YouTube, he is incredible. He's such a funny dude. I watch his videos. He puts them up almost every day. And uh, Derek must have bought me one or sent me the one he got. That's funny as hell. That's awesome. Thanks, Derek. I will quick throw this thing up on the bench, do some measurements, and check some other stuff out. Okay, and I have a spare truck intake. So this is what I would call the Gen 3, or the tried and true old truck intake. And this is the Trailblazer SS or NMBS truck intake. And there have been a lot of tests done, and this one usually comes out on top, as they have improved it. <laughs> Imagine that. This is the electronic throttle body, and since I am not running drive-by-wire, I bought this China girl right here. We're gonna bolt that guy on. And it looks like, is it bigger? Is it slightly bigger? It's hard to tell if they're bigger or not. I'm gonna have to measure it, but it might be slightly bigger. This is like an 88 or an 80 mil, and this is like a 92 millimeter. So we'll bolt that guy on. The main difference, I mean, just from looking at it, you can see, obviously it's different. You can tell right away. Map sensor up in the front, map sensor in the back here. It's returnless. Some of these are returnless. I would say 50-50 are return or returnless because the truck has been out so long. The only thing that I'm going to do, like I said, is retrofit the return rails onto this guy. I'll have to see what I have to do, like move tabs or some other wizardry. And then all these vacuum ports are kind of nice too. But other than that, those are the, that's the difference here. Old intake, that's what's on my truck. New intake, that's what I'm going to put on after we do the cylinder head test, which is coming up soon. Just got to install them. <laughs> just got to find some time. And I'm going to bolt this guy up and put the sensors on it for now and then see where I'm at. And maybe I can start tearing a little bit of my truck apart. And I got a lot of good tips. And I have heard of this before. When you get a China throttle body, 
to Loctite the shit out of these screws or rivet them. I don't know if anybody rivets them, but I think I'm just going to do red Loctite and screw them in there because people say, you know, these vibrate loose and end up in the motor. I can believe that. So that is what we, that's where we're at right now. All right, so first mission here is to Loctite those guys before I, you know, I'm going to forget about them. Let's grab some Loctite. So I have crazy red Loctite. I have a bunch of stuff here. I got blue. Part of me wants to put a pop rivet in it. Permatex thread locker blue. Yeah, the screw comes out pretty easy, to be honest. Wow, that comes right out. Screws out. Thread locker all over this. What I did too is I took some measurements. I thought it would be too hard to take pictures and get video of it. I took measurements of all of these openings. And the stock one, like I thought, was it's about 88 millimeter. And then the opening on the intake is about 88 millimeter. So the 92 millimeter is basically throwing some away, in my opinion. It's bigger than the intake opening. So that's not, you know, some people will get all crazy about having the largest throttle body when especially on a turbo car in my opinion it doesn't need to be that huge we have made plenty of power on a relatively quote-unquote small throttle body and another thing hit me I'm like hey guys I'll test out this throttle body for you but I think this is what we have on Mark's race car the videos I just posted up if you guys are not familiar with the 760s he just went are there no bolts with the motors? These guys are funny. They sent me the mo the idle air. This is a Chinesium idle air motor. Shout out to AVE. But they don't give you the bolts. And then the throttle body doesn't come with the bolts. So you are kind of hung out to dry. This seal is a little bit, doesn't want to go in. Let's get my engine assembly lube, see what happens. Part of me just wants to install the factory ones in it. Engine assembly lube. Lube liberally. Yeah, I don't know. Do I want to have this straight up or down? That O-ring, go in. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I think I'm gonna have to steal them off that, or do I have bolts that small? BRB, don't wanna waste your time. Now also, does this have the, nope, it's just the three plug map sensor. I'm kinda interested, it doesn't have the bolt. I wonder what this was originally for, if it was swapped. I'd love to try like a ZR1 map. People said they work great. And even, uh, People have talked about it and asked about it many times, but I've never done it. The map sensor with the temperature in it, it has an inlet air temp sensor, they call it a T-map, and they sell a three bar one, and it's fairly inexpensive, and it eliminates two problems. It does temperature and map sensor all at once, but you have to, it, it can't be external and hanging off. It needs to be, what they do is they sell a weld emboss, which is pretty neat. You can put it on the intake pipe, but then it's not getting vacuum. You need almost an aluminum intake or you need to drill a big hole and make sure that it can sit flat because the temperature probe needs to go down. So, so people are always obsessed with that T-map, but it doesn't always offer 
a good flexibility with what you want to do with your project. So all of that aside, this guy's ready to go. What we got to do next is start tearing apart the truck, but other than that, throttle opens up nice, doesn't hang up on anything. Idle air control motor swapped, everything else on. I believe we're, that's going to sit until the head test is done. We're going to see how I do with getting that stuff ready.